Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss the solution component of augmentation of a string identity. So let's see. So for example, let's say we have a string called A, B, C. So what are the possible permutations for it? Okay. Uh, so it will be A, B, C, A, C, B, B, A, C, B, C, A, C, A, B, C, B, A. So these are the possible permutations for our A, B, C. So if we have got a string A, B, C, then we uh, its length is 3. So we have total 3 factorial of permutations or 6 permutation. If I will say that 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 contains the information about the permutation of this string then you will not believe me that this is possible but I am going to tell you how these six numbers actually contains all the information that we need for the permutation of this string so let's see so we have a b c and the index are 0 1 3 first number is 0 okay so what we are going to do is we are going to divide it by the length that is 3 now if we will divide it by 3 then we will get 0 and 0 as remainder. Now what we are going to do? We are going to remove the element at 0th index because we got remainder as 0. So A is removed and then printed. Now we are going to divide by 2. We got 0 and 0 as remainder. Now the index should have been shifted because A is moved. So B is at 0th index. We got 0 as remainder, so B is removed and printed. Now we got 1, 0 and 0 remainder, 0 remainder. So C is removed and printed. We got first permutation. Okay, you might not be able to see how this is working. So after we have done all the iteration for this, you will be able to see that we have got all the possible permutations all right so let's move forward and then second number was one a zero b one c two c divide one it will be zero and one as remainder index uh, one is removed and b is printed c is at one p uh, 2, 0 and 0 remainder A is removed and printed now C is at 0 index 1, 0 and 0 remainder so C is removed and printed card number was 2 so 3 divided by 2 we got 0 and 2 as remainder a0, B1, C2. We got two remainder. So C is removed and printed. Then two. We got zero and zero remainder. A is removed and printed. Then one. Zero and zero remainder. B is index shifted to zero. So zero index is removed and printed. Now we have then for 0, 1 and 2. Now it is 10 for 3. 3 ones are 3 and 0. A0, B1, C2. We got 0 as remainder. A is removed and printed. 2, 0 and 1 as remainder. Uh, at one index we have C, so C is removed and printed. Then we divide by one, zero and zero. At zero index we have B, it is removed and printed. Then we got four, A zero, B one, C two, C one the three, and we got one remainder, one remainder, and is removed and printed. 
gear shift into one position two divided by one zero and one as remainder is removed and printed now now divided by one zero and zero remainder a is at zero it is removed and printed now five three divided by five the ones are three two as remainder is zero e1 c2 you are two as remainder is removed and printed now divided by two we got one as remainder it is removed and printed and you got zero and zero we got zero as remainder it is removed and printed so if you look carefully we got a b c we got b a c we got c a b we got a c b and b c a and c b a these are the possible permutation for this okay so let it confirm All right so it is for sample input we have these common uh, these permutations so let's take it to our page and confirm here it is and yeah now we can check we got abc yeah we got abc we got bac yeah bac is there cab cab is there acb acb is there bca bca is there cba cba is there so first of all we need to calculate factorial of uh, meaning length of string we need to calculate factorial for length of the string and then 0 to length minus 1 are going to give me all the permutations so that's what we are going to do so let's add the code but first to calculate factorial of our number so let's take a variable factor and initialize it with one now for i in range one till length of string plus one and factorial will be written like this so here is how we are going to get a factorial now we just need to print all the combinations so for i in range the loop will run from 0 to factorial minus 1 as we have done here we have got factorial as 6 so we are running for 0 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Alright. So, this is what we are going to do here. For i in range, we are changing our. So, we are going to place it here. We also need an answer string which is changed each time when we run the loop while st or st length st is greater than zero then we are going to do something first we are calculating the remainder remainder is equal to temp modulus um Length of string, not string, uh, answer string, and temp will be changed to temp divided by okay. 
So what we need to print is remainder. Whatever is at the remainder index, we have to print. And then our answer string should be updated by removing that index. So answer should be zero children plus answer rem plus one till the end. And when this loop is completed, then we have to shift our so print. Here it is. So let's run it. Okay, there's the mistake. All right. Convert it into integer. So it's been accepted for our sample test case. Now let's submit it. So we got 10 out of 10. It means that our logic was correct. Our program was also correct. So we have learned how we can create permutation of a string iteratively by just calculating the factorial of that length of string. Okay. So that's all for this video. See you in the next one.